Restaurant Radio. I'm wondering, the show seems so tailor-made, so perfect for you, kind of like Frank Sinatra and that one thing. Yes, the the Red Pack, yes. uh, You're perfect for it. Is that, how did it, was it a concept that someone pitched and you said, I love it, I want to do it? Or was it you that said, hey, these stories need to be told? I couldn't even say Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives when they pitched it to me. They said, hey, it's this (laughs) show about uh, you going around to these locations. Do you guys want to hear the real story? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So this guy, I I get this call from Food Network, and they said, hey, we've got this... um, we got this show uh, that maybe you'd be interested in. And I had done one for them earlier, and it was about gadgets in the kitchen. And I was just happy to do anything they gave me, anything about food. But I did this gadget in the kitchen thing, and I'm like, the last thing I am is a gadget guy. <laughs> I don't press my garlic, like I chop it, you know, that kind of attitude. And so I didn't really dig that. So they called me with this other one. They said, it's called Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I'm like, oh, boy. What do you got me doing? You know, what, what is this going to be about? And they said, well, you, know, you go around to these, you know, uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives around the country. I'm not really diner food. That's not like really my style, but eh, whatever. I said, I'll check it out. And so they said, well, we're going to do a one-hour special. Seven locations. 17 days it took us to film this. So I fly out to New Jersey. I, I get out of the car, out of the cab, and there's the two sound guys, the sound guy and the camera guy, Chico and Bunny. That's their nicknames. <laughs> David Canada and, and Anthony Rodriguez. And I get out of the car, and they don't know who's going to be doing the show. They know that they get to work on the show. The producer that came up with the idea, this guy David Page, knows that they're getting somebody from Food Network, and they think it's like Bobby Flay. Right. So oh. I roll out of the car, and there I am in a T-shirt, you know, in a tank top, and they look at me, and they go, are you with the, the, <laughs> Are you with somebody? And I go, no, you guys doing some show about diners? And their eyes roll back, and they walk away, and then David Page walks up and goes, are you Guy Ferrari? Uh. <laughs> and I go, yeah, I'm Guy Fieri. And he's like, do you have anything different to wear? And I'm wearing these short, like shorts and, t- and flip flops, and right. I go, yeah. I pull out of my sh- my bag the first thing that ca- I got in my hand, and it was a Dickies work shirt. You know, it looks like a bowling shirt. Right. That's how this whole bowling shirt thing started. I don't wear that. I wear t-shirts. You know. Right. So he goes, okay. Well, here's what you're gonna do. Am I taking too much time on this? No. Okay. Well. He goes, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go in here. You're gonna do this. It was the Bayway Diner in Linden, New Jersey, tiny little eight stool re- uh, joint, and uh, Mike Junta, the owner, and I are still good friends. So he goes in, he goes, he goes, go in there, and I want you to ask him this, 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 gives this whole laundry list. And it's just cheese ball questioning. I'm like, and what inspired you to become a diner owner? You know, like, I'm going to answer that, ask that question. So I don't even pay attention to what this guy tells me. So I walk in, I get behind the line, I'm pouring coffee, I'm talking to the people, I'm talking, so dude, what's up, man? How did you, what is this, what do you got going on here? And I'm doing this whole thing, and I'm and I'm not following anything he told me. And I could see the camera guy looking at, looking over his shoulder, like, Unscripted. you know, <laughs> should I shoot this, or are we should just stop now? So I'm, and I'm talking to the guy, and finally Paige yells, cut, come here. And he, I'm like, oh boy, I'm fired. <laughs> Walks me outside, and he goes, uh, he says, uh, what was, what was that in there? And I said, well, what, what do you mean? What was that in there? He goes, this, this, what, what you were doing? What pouring coffee and flipping the eggs and, and talking to and, and and just rambling? What was that? I said, well, I'm from the restaurant business, bro. I said, this is how you do it. You walk into someone's kitchen, you don't sit there and and, and give them the 2020 questions. <laughs> right. You know, you get involved. Do something, right? And he goes, you you can do this again. And I said, can I do that, what I just did again? I said, dude, I can do that standing on my head. He goes, we've got a hit. And he raised his arm, and that's exactly how it happened. Matter of fact, we, we just had an interview in, in, in the New York wow. Times about that, and that is exactly what happened. We got a hit. It was five minutes into it. That was- Restaurant Radio.